Mm. Well, I had two words. Leadership. Heart. Unique. Integrity. Sincerity. Silent leader. I grew up in uh, Pendleton, Oregon, in and around agriculture, and it's in my blood. I never thought once about doing anything outside of agriculture. At Northwest Farm Credit Services, I serve as Oregon president. In that role, I'm responsible for our lending and insurance activities across the state. I mean, he's a farmer at heart, quite honestly. He's wearing a coat and tie to work as opposed to Levi's. So as a megaphone for agriculture, I can't think of a better guy. I like people that have a lot of passion, and Brent's got a, a, a great abundance of passion. He's a very energetic person, both in terms of the business as well as our stewardship programs, and uh, he is always involved with something. He is on the boards of multiple organizations that are really the backbone within rural communities. He has a sincere interest and passion for these causes that he's supporting. From time to time, we forget how much of our own success and our own livelihood is dependent on those around us. He really is a solid voice of the agricultural industry on our board, which is you know mostly urban focused. So to have his presence, it's been really wonderful. He and his, his wife, they're very passionate about the communities where they work and live, and they, it comes naturally to them, uh, and uh, they, put, they pour a lot of their energy and passion into it. He's also a, a guy that uh, takes a, a vital interest in the next generation. What I learned uh, and the experiences I gained from 4-H and FFA have been invaluable throughout my life, and we need to make sure that today's children have those same opportunities. He really sees the value of leadership within young people. We're all getting older, and uh, we need young folks to have interest, uh, to have uh, the abilities to, to take over. Bridging that urban and rural divide, uh, first and foremost by doing what I can to help develop leadership within our industry so that we have strong voices from the natural resource community. Brent's probably his strong suit, his leadership ability. A humble leader who leads by example. He shows up in a room and he listens, and yet he also isn't afraid to say something that might be difficult to hear or controversial. Just he's thoughtful at what he does and how he does it. He earns the respect. He doesn't ask for respect. You like Brent, you believe Brent, you can see he's sincere. Brent is a bridger. He's able to bring in different perspectives and see different perspectives. And with that bridging, he's not only bringing in those perspectives, but he's bringing them together. And so we find ourselves today with uh, situations of urban versus rural, conventional versus organic, big versus small, and yet what we really need to work towards is urban and rural, or big and small. Because my observation over the last 30 years is that we've all benefited from what we've learned from all of those areas. Brent, by his nature, is a connector. So this seems like a natural fit that he would win this award. It's an honor and a privilege here at Northwest to know that one of our team members has been awarded a very prominent award in, in Oregon. When he speaks, people listen. I'm really proud of him. I'm really glad that he gets this opportunity. I'm very honored uh, to receive the Ag Connection Award. It's been uh, 32 years since my internship with what is now Oregon AgLink. Brent, thank you for your thoughtful approach to banking. Your ability to make educated decisions and bring people together is unmatched in the industry. It's a privilege to have him on a team and it's a privilege to call him a friend. Thanks for your passion, for your sense of humor, for your sincerity, and thanks for helping bridge that gap between urban and rural uh, Oregon. Brent, thank you for your friendship, thank you for your leadership, and thank you for giving back to all Oregonians. <laughs>